Hi, good morning. This is Kemi Malalulunlaya, journalist, pharmacist, and PR specialist. We're now on November 27th, and it's a Tuesday morning in Nigeria, and the time is approximately about 8.45 a.m. local time. Well, this Tuesday morning, I want to talk to you real quick about one of my master classes, HNN master class. We're talking about how to verify your Instagram account. Now, some of you went to my Instagram last night and you notice it's vanished. Yeah, I deactivated it again or even deleted it. I don't know. I wouldn't tell you what. I just deactivated it. I don't like Instagram anymore. A lot of you um, know that I joined Instagram a long time ago. You probably don't even know that. Instagram opened around October 4th in 2010. I was in Canada and my son who loves all kinds of adventures on Play Store said we should you know, log in. I watched the event online and I joined Instagram four days after log in. I watched the event online and I joined Instagram four days after lunch in October 2010. I might just well be the first Nigerian on Instagram too. I am the first Nigerian on Facebook. That one's for sure. Everybody knows that one. Um, Instagram. October 2010. It was really nothing but filtering photos. That's what my son liked. He was using my phone, filtering photos and all kinds of stuff. And then we had Belinda, a friend who's a photographer who was also using it because the photographer will be doing a lot of good stuff filtering her photos. Belinda likes to take the nature and natural habitats and all that. So she had some beautiful pictures after they were filtered. At the end of the day, for me, it wasn't really anything. If I went to interview a celebrity, I'll take it and I'll post all the pictures of the music stars, I'll filter them and just that was it. Eventually, Instagram became somewhere where you can post stories, you can blog on it, you know, but when you blog on Instagram, you have to put a photo there. That's the whole point of it. I blogged on a template and sometimes my stories didn't have images. It's really nice to have images when you're blogging, okay, because it kind of gives some, some energy and weight to the story, you know. So I do that on my template blog. Sometimes I don't. But in Instagram, you cannot blog without putting a photo, at least a photo related to what you're doing. And so that's what happened with me. Now, as you know, I'm very intelligent, IQ 207. I'm ad lib all the time. I don't read news off a paper. Even when I was in America and I would do a newscast on the radio, I just read it over, you know, on my head. You guys saw what I did at 32 FM two weeks ago when I crashed the station after the staff kidnapped me, of course, at the supermarket next door. Um, as I'm talking to you, I'm not reading from anywhere, okay? I'm just talking right out of my brain. That's why I call myself an intelligent person. I don't let people call me intelligent. I know what I'm worth and I know my IQ. Instagram. So in 2013, I abandoned my Instagram for three years, okay? If I didn't, it would have been probably one million, two, three million now. But of course, the people with millions, they didn't really get that. A lot of them purchased the followers. So that's what I'm going to talk to you this morning, how to verify your Instagram, because a lot of you always say it's very hard to get verified on Instagram, and which is true. Now, I'll tell you why it's hard. First of all, when you're verifying an account on social media, it's not given to you. Social media companies don't just verify people. What, they're going to look through internet billions of accounts around the world? No, they don't have the time for that. You have to request verification. When you're requested, they either turn you down or approve it. Okay? Well, let me explain to you why the first five people to be verified on Facebook in Nigeria, five people, were me, Kemi a journalist, Omotala Jalade Kendi, actress, Don Jazzy, music producer, Wizkid, musician, Davido, musician. We're the first five to be verified on Facebook when Facebook started verification in 2013. Then, of course, Twitter. The same five people, I don't know about Motala, but Don Jazzy, myself, Davido, um, Wizkid, maybe a few others were the first to be verified on Twitter. Now, in those days, us. they just sent us messages in the inbox and say, oh, your account was reviewed and we found out that your likelihood of being impersonated. I didn't have anything close to Whiskey and Davido's fan base, millions, okay? I only had, what, 77,000. Well, that time I had 60,000 on Twitter. 
And I said, okay, fine, verify me then. Today, social media managers are the ones that request verification. They now have templates and open portals on these places. There are areas in Twitter where you can get verified. You have to go to the help section and all that. There's a form there that your social media manager can fill. I did verification for Femi Fanny Coyote and a few others. I recommended that Darren Lee do, um, what's his name, Charlie Boy and others get verified. Verification is great for branding, okay? When I used to do tweet, Twitter adverts before verification, I know my adverts were like $50 per ad, and I was monetizing my Twitter ads, and today my ads are $250 per ad. So when you're verified, it, it's a psychological thing. Some people feel when you're verified, you're important, or you have many followers. No, no, it has nothing to do with followers. Linda KG had 1.9 million followers on Twitter. They never verified her because one, she bought followers, and they don't like that. Many of the social media porters do not like you buying followers. So that was the thing there. At the end of the day, okay, verification now must be requested. I've done some requests for Facebook verifications as well as Twitter. Now, remember, before I leave this video, don't come calling me asking me, can I help you verify your account? Okay, it's very expensive. I don't do it anymore. It could be as much as $5,000. Dollars. I said dollars, dollars, dollars. So... I don't do verification and social media. I don't do social media management anymore. I'm a health reporter now and a medical correspondent. So let's go to the point of this video, Instagram. A lot of people are verified on Twitter and Facebook and they're not verified on Instagram. They have tried to get verified, but there is no outlet or portal to do it. They go to the help section, they go to the verification section, there's no way to apply for it. So how do you apply? You came to me, a social media manager, to help you apply or write a letter or something, and you paid me for it. Now, it became a point that people could not even know how they verify their accounts. They had to go to the black market. Yes, there is an Instagram black market. That Instagram black market is people that work at Instagram who are charging you three to $5,000 to verify one or two accounts, your business, your personal. They'll give you 400,000 followers with it and boom, you're verified and you look like you're important. A lot of celebrities did that on Instagram. Are you looking at Instagram? Upcoming musicians in Nigeria, all of them are verified. Actors, actresses in Hollywood, everybody verified, but they're not verified on Facebook. They're not verified on Twitter. Some don't even have Facebook or Twitter pages anymore and they're just running Instagram. They bought their followers. I'll give you a good example, Linda AKG. And this has nothing to do with me and Linda's past beef or whatever. Linda bought her followers in her verification. Laura AKG, same thing. Chiama, Davido's girlfriend, Chef Chi, Chiama is not a public figure. She hasn't done anything to warrant a public figure. Yes, she's a chef, but does she have a cooking show out yet? Does she have all this stuff? She's just following Davido around as a girlfriend, arm candy. She's verified on Instagram. Davido bought that for her. $5,000 is nothing for Davido. So that is why you see many of them verified. Now, in October, eight years exactly after Instagram opened, Mike Krieger and Kevin Seistrom decided they want to move on and do something else. Only God knows what they're doing, but I know Kevin is up to some good stuff. I know all these guys personally. Um, what Kevin and Mike are doing, I don't know, but they said goodbye to Instagram. I want to plug my phone, sorry. They said goodbye to Instagram, and they handed it over to Facebook. Mike Zuckerberg owns it now, fully, 100%. At the end of the day... All that black market stuff, they were going to yank it from people. But they paid men. So Instagram now sent a message out that because you're verified on Facebook and Twitter doesn't mean you're going to be verified in Instagram. Da, 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 da. That, that used to be the message. Now the new message is if anybody approaches you with verification symbol, followers, and all their package, don't do it. Instagram does not verify anybody in a black market. Facebook has clamped down. So don't give your money to somebody you don't know, saying that they're going to verify you. Those black marketers are still out there. They will take your money. You won't see verification. So listen to me carefully. This is how you can verify your account. You go 
to Instagram settings, all right? When you get to settings, first of all, update your app. Okay, the app is different now. You have name tags now, you can scan. You have comment controls. You can turn off your comments on every single post. I do that a lot now because everybody on my page, Kemi Olunlaya, which I deactivated last night, deactivated it two months in August, came back October. But you guys are not mature enough. I give you news. You tell them it's fake news. You tell them it's this. Leave Linda alone. Leave David alone. Leave this one alone. It's not worth my time. I work on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. I don't have time for Instagram people. They sit down there. They don't know what's going on on Twitter. Then when Instablog Niger picks up a tweet that I wrote about a gossip item and puts it there, then they start running to me in Twitter. So guys, no more Instagram except for my health page, health reports. So follow at health reports on Instagram to get the news from a health and wellness standpoint. Okay. It's not a medical site. It's the same news from a health and wellness standpoint. Now, Settings. When you get to the settings, you'll see all kinds of new things in the settings. Like I said, comment controls. You can have people you follow comment, nobody comment, everybody comment, that kind of stuff. Right below that, you are going to see this request verification. Request verification. Now, when you open that portal, request verification, it's going to ask you some basic questions. Okay, it's a very delicate area. It's gonna ask you your username, put that in. It's gonna ask you your other name. And it's probably gonna ask you a question to the point of, why do you wanna get verified? Who are you? What do you do that warrants you to get verified? Twitter always asks for that. And they own is like an essay. Short stuff. I have a likelihood of being impersonated. I am a brand. They will ask you if you are a brand, a person, a famous person. If you sell stuff, and you can't just be. I'm sorry, I just have some technical problems. You cannot, okay? You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot get verified on Twitter if, I'm sorry, I'm just looking all over the place. I have some technical issues on the TV going in front of me. You cannot, you cannot basically um, verify your account because you're selling shoes or makeup or something. You must be notable for something you do. If you're a brand, make sure you have enough posts showing that you are a brand. You can have 12 posts of your nail or your bags or something. You have to constantly, constantly attract people to your page. Now, in Instagram verification, remember I said numbers don't matter. You don't need millions to become whatever. It's a likelihood of being impersonated, okay? But if you have an audience try your best okay to gather a lot of audiences that are real people don't buy followers on instagram believe me they'll purge you out so fast and they'll note you and blacklist you for verification in the future so the main thing is choose what you are on that menu if it's news for example i'm going to verify my accounts ultimately just for the fun of verifying even though i'm not going to be on it too much um it's deactivated right now at hnn africa my old news website is still there that's not coming till 2019 anyway but health reports i'm definitely going to verify i want to i have like 1800 people now i want 1700 i just want to make more content so in my own case i'll pick news or maybe health and wellness i don't know i'll pick what's appropriate Then, then what is going to happen, okay? Then what's going to happen is that you will pick up your, what's it called? You'll pick up your ID and you enter it in there. In my case, driver's license, passport. Take out the parts that you don't have to take out. Take out the parts that you have to take out. Okay, 
send, send it to Instagram and just wait. In a couple of days, you'll get verified or you'll get a rejection to try again in 30 days. And then you can try in 30 days. Build up your brand. I'm Kemi Amalulu Thank you.